Hi, this is Jerry. Let us continue our discussion of arrays. What we have discussed so far is an example of one-dimensional array. Does it mean array can have two, three, or more dimensions? The answer is yes. For simplicity and clarity of the concept, we will cover only up to two-dimensional array. How do you think in multi-dimensional? Think of it as an array within an array. It is an array that is cut into pieces on which each piece has its own compartments or subdivisions. As we base on cabinet 2 figure, it is not simply just identifying the row of the cabinet because each row is still subdivided into many compartments on which we identified as column. When we say cabinet 00, zero we are addressing the first row of the cabinet on the location of column 0. Thus, a two-dimensional array is a division with subdivisions. Another dimension is added from typical one-dimensional array. Let us simplify our discussion of cabinet 2. Consider cabinet 2 is a 3 by 2 cabinet. It means 3 layers with 2 compartments with 2 compartments on each layer. We can declare and allocate values of the cabinet in two ways. The first is in this format. Just as we did on one dimensional array, identify the size of the array. Our cabinet this time has a capacity of 3 by 2. On the declarations, we have used new operator and an additional pair of square brackets on string data type. That signifies an additional dimension is used. On this right side of the declarations after the equal sign, we assign the size of two-dimensional array. Assign now the string values of each cell in the array. Please note that the counting for each cell, whatever the dimension is, still starts at zero. Cell reference is addressed by two numeric values, thus Thus, we say gadgets are located at cabinet 2, 0, 0 matrix. Another way of declaring assigning values that produces the same effect is with this statement. The first layer of the array is enclosed with a pair of curly braces. We separate layers from each one by using a comma. Here, we did not use the index numbers to assign a value for, for each cell. It is understood that the first set of values indicated and enclosed with curly braces occupies layer 0. The succeeding sets occupy the next index number in progression. How do we display the output of dimensional array? Let us create the program. This is the working program of cabinet 2. Use the inner loop to access each element of each array. We declare the counter variables layer and sub. The outer loop condition compares the layer from the size of the ca array cabinet 2. Cabinet 2 length, cabinet 2 dot length is 3 and will remain as such throughout the program. The inner condition of the for loop tests if sub is less than cabinet 2 layer dot length. Layer values will vary from 0, 1, 2. But the partition or subdivision within each layer will remain the same. So cabinet 2 layer dot length gets the division within each row of array 
which is two all throughout. System uh, system dot out dot print ln will separate each row of each array. Let us run our program. Here is the output. Hi, this is Jerry. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see the script or codes of this tutorial, please click the link below. Do visit us on our Facebook and Twitter account. Don't forget to hit the like buttons.